Hey friend, welcome to Self Transformed, a podcast redefining self-care through simple fitness, nutrition, and mindset habits. I'm your host, Emily Nichols, certified personal trainer, Whole30 coach, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. (laughs) Hey, I know the struggle is real when it comes to taking care of you. I too am a busy working mom who felt physically and emotionally drained until I took action on my own transformation journey. I finally found the solutions to feeling confident and living a healthy lifestyle that doesn't feel hard and now I'm on a mission to equip you with sustainable tools to help transform your life from the inside out, guilt free. Together, we will simplify your health and fitness into daily habits that don't feel like another thing on your long to-do list, but daily actions that light you up instead. So if you're ready to redefine self-care and step into your own self-transformation, then let's do this. You're listening to episode 132 of Self Transformed. Hey friend, I am super excited. Today is Monday, January 10th, and Self Transform You is kicking off today. Woohoo! Y'all, I literally have like just a couple of spots left. So if you want to join us, it's not too late. What we're going to do is week by week, go through a customized, personalized health plan for you backed by proven habit strategy. So that first week we'll go over what is habit strategy. We'll talk about your mindset. We'll talk about the new habit method I unveiled this past week in my Facebook group. We'll go into from there, my three-step food freedom plan, like how to actually meal prep and have some habit strategy around that. We'll talk about joyful movement, scheduling that in, and lastly, what to do when you lose that motivation and what the next steps are to continue this transformation for yourself. So pretty much after four weeks, you have a customized health plan and you're good to go. And it's it's customized for you because what Look, what your day looks like is going to be completely different from the next girls, right? So you can go to selltransformyou.com, reserve your spot today. You'll get a email back with a line to text at, and you'll be getting weekly t- pump up text from me that you can actually reply to, and we will schedule a one on one habit hawking call, habit hawking, habit hacking <laughs> call together to go over what your dreams and hopes and wishes are for self transform you and kind of talk a little bit about habit strategy. A couple of the girls added on an additional habit hacking call as well, which I'm really excited about that to add a little extra sense of accountability for them. So gang, this is the last day today, the 10th, but you can still go to selftransformyou.com and get on the wait list if you're listening to this after the 10th and you can join us for the next session, which is not that far away for Self Transform You, okay? I'll have more details here in the next couple of weeks and when the next, next session starts. As always, you can come over to the Facebook group. There's a link in the show notes. You can join my newsletter. And lastly, you can text me at one seven seven three nine zero four two one five seven. Text me whatever questions you have about STU or working with me in the Self Transform brand. Those are the ways to hear about it first, okay? Just gave you a lot of information, but it's all linked in the show notes. So, okay, let's talk about today's show. So, I do host mini workshops within the Facebook community, and this is a re-airing for you of a workshop I did on intuition. You know, we've talked about listening to your gut and that mind-body connection and your gut knowing what's up. It's true. So today we're going to dig a little bit deeper into intuition. I'm going to give you some actual tips to listen and to be more in tune with your intuition. So for example, if your gut, if your intuition is telling you, you need to sign up for STU, do it. (laughs) If there's self-doubt happening, how to overcome that, we talk about that a little bit in this workshop. So get a pen and paper handy, listen in, make sure you are part of our Facebook community as well. That way you're able to take advantage of these monthly mini workshops. We have another one coming up here in the next few weeks that I don't want you to miss. So enjoy this airing of my intuition workshop and I hope to see you in STU. Hey, good afternoon or good morning, friends, depending on you're watching this or maybe even good evening if you're watching the replay. I hope you're having a really great day. I am momming so hard today. Took my oldest son and my youngest one along with me because we're on fall break this week. 
um, for an orthodontist consultation. Oh my goodness. If you've been through that, oh my goodness. So, um, got that, got lunch, we're back home, ran by and got a prescription. I'm so mom and hard today. Well, hey gang, I won't take up too much of your time. As you know, with these monthly live coaching calls, the themes are voted on by you. So I'll put up a poll since we're always already coming up into the new month to vote on what you'd like to hear next month. And I keep these pretty brief. These are voted on by you specifically just for you here in my client community. But I hope you guys are doing well. We're getting into that season where it's starting to feel a little busy like extra, extra busy, right? With the holidays, we're going to go on fall break. We're getting ready to go into Halloween, my youngest son's birthday, Thanksgiving, Christmas, just all the things, right? So I hope you're taking some time for you, which I know can be easier said than done. But you know, that's what we preach about a lot here in the self-transformed community. So let me refresh my page here so I can share my screen with you so you can see these slides. But anytime you are watching this on your phone, you want to take a screenshot, um, I would highly suggest doing it. If there's something I say that you are like, man, I want to really remember that, do that. Maybe make a special album in your phone. <laughs> if you're like me, I take screenshots of a lot of things and sometimes I never go back to them. But if you have maybe a special album for like cooking ideas or like personal development, this would be a really great album to create in your phone. So today we're talking about how to follow your intuition. So three steps to listen to your gut because your gut knows what's up. Your gut knows what's up. Um, we've had an episode before on gut health and we actually talked a little bit about intuition and that gut feeling. So we'll get into that here in a moment, but I just wanted to point that out to you as well. The goals for today is to always be brief, help you take action. We'll have some action steps for you here at the end of our coaching call together. And of course, we're always redefining self-care. We're doing this with a focus on following your intuition, some new habits you can start doing to help your intuition become a little more clear for you. We all know each other. I'm Emily. I'm the host of the self Transform podcast, certified personal trainer, whole 30 coach, behavior change specialist, wife, Bowie mom, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. I have really been feeling like lately my intuition or God has been talking to me about some decisions I've been thinking about making in regards to my business and our family's life. And I keep getting like these nudges. So we'll discuss a little bit more about that and I'll share that to you. But have you ever felt that way? Have you ever had like this, this thought or this feeling or this want or need in your life that just isn't going away, right? It's just not a fleeting thought. Your intuition or your gut instinct is your immediate understanding and understanding of something. There's no need to think it over or get another opinion. You just know. You know what I mean? Like you just know. Like if you know your kid is fibbing to you, you just know, right? Your intuition arises as a feeling within your body that only you experience. Because of this, trusting your intuition is the ultimate act of trusting yourself, which can be hard to do, right? Intuition is that sense of knowing that what the right answer or decision is before you even make it. It's a deep, internal, visceral feeling. You know your intuition is around when you say things like, I can't really explain it, but, or it just felt right, or more likely, it just felt wrong, right? So why don't we always follow our intuition? We all know what this phrase means. We all have had these little nudges or pushes or thoughts planted in our head from God or whoever. And why don't we always follow that? Well, many times it's our own fears. It's our own fears holding us back. We know we want something, but we are fearful and we don't take those next steps to follow our intuition. Or you're having a hard time listening to your intuition because your mind is so freaking busy. You have so many tabs open. You don't even know what to do. It drives my husband crazy if he gets on my laptop and sees all my tabs open. But I'm like, babe, it's fine. It's so I don't forget all these tabs that I have open that I need to do. But sometimes it feels good to close those out figuratively and literally on my computer as well. So let's talk about three tips to help you listen to your gut or your intuition a little bit more. Steps to take some action here today, okay? So tip number, tip number one. Some say your intuition is God nudging them or talking to them. I truly believe this. I have been felt like I've been slapped in the face sometimes or punched in the gut or 
just felt like this calling that something wasn't right or I needed to change or something that I was dreaming about was something I needed to do like the podcast for a whole year, a whole year. I thought about doing it before I launched it a whole year. I could have been a whole year ahead of where I am right now. What did I start doing when I kept feeling like these messages is pushing from God that yes, you need to do, you need to give this a shot. I prayed about it. I prayed about it. So praying about it will help you alleviate your fears and you have to practice that. So that could be something you pair with your bedtime routine or your morning routine or both, or even shower time. I talked to God a lot in the shower too. Also, you can journal your fears. Writing it down is a very big deal because sometimes a lot more things come out when we're writing it down versus just thinking in our head, right? And I want you to ask yourself this. What is the worst case scenario? Okay. What is the worst case scenario? If you try whatever your intuition is telling you, or if you don't try what you, your intuition is telling you, what's the worst case scenario either way? Journal that down, write that down. That will help you have a little bit more faith, but also have some actual data, maybe clarification, like what your actual fears are. And are you making them bigger than what they should be in your head? Right. Tip number two, you keep seeing little nudges everywhere, little clues or signs. I see this all the time. Something I've been thinking about a lot lately. I keep hearing quotes on podcasts or a whole podcast podcast subject matter. Some of these things I've been thinking about or quotes online or messages. These are messages from God. It's your intuition. Sometimes when you're always thinking about these type of things or this nudge that's this pulling on your heart for something, you'll keep seeing signs, right? When you keep seeing things like that over and over again, those are not coincidences. Take those seriously. Those are, I think, little breadcrumbs, if you will, from God to be like, okay, you're on the right path. Keep following that. So look for those signs everywhere. That's personal to you, what that looks like. Okay. And then tip number three, allow your mind to rest in order to find clarity. This is hard because if you got a lot of tabs open like me, it's hard to find clarity on um, what you're trying to follow with your intuition. So we've talked about alleviating those fears, looking for those signs, but to actually find some clarity and clear your mind, a couple of really easy tips for you. This is a really great form of self-care as well. Get outside. I cannot tell you one time I was walking and I swear like God straight up, like stopped me in my tracks and had a message for me. Um, movement. Movement is a really great way to open up your mind and your heart. And sometimes I have some of the best ideas when I am working out or writing my Peloton. So many. Set some boundaries. You know, that way you're able to clear your mind a little bit more. You're not so busy and then get some rest, get some rest, girl. I know we aren't getting enough rest. I know I personally haven't been. And that's one of the things I keep seeing signs about right now is getting more rest. I have been feeling it physically lately and a little bit more mentally too. I need a lot of creative space in my, in my um, day. And I haven't been having a lot of that because I've been so tired. I've been running myself a little too thin, been filling in a lot of extra classes here and there very early mornings and compounded over time. I'm tired <laughs> and I'm not getting good quality rest and I'm feeling that physically. And I've been seeing so many podcasts and quotes about rest and best quality sleep and how rest is good for you and how it can disrupt your hormones and help you and make you even like gain weight and all that good stuff, which I know that those are really good signs for me to see that and just as a reminder from God, like, man, you need to be able to get more sleep. And it could be as simple as just like, okay, I just need to go to bed. I just need to go to bed earlier. I need to go to bed early. I need to communicate that with my husband as well. Because that's our alone time together before, after our kids go to bed. Okay. So I hope this was a little helpful, helpful for you. A bonus tip. Bonus tip. I always include a bonus tip for you all. Ask someone who has been in your shoes. So someone who has faced their fears, had success, etc. If there's something you're wanting to try out or do, or there's someone you admire that has done, has gone forth before you, ask them how they did that, how it felt. If they were scared, more likely they would be like, yep, I was terrified, but it was the best thing I ever did, right? Absolutely. This kind of happened to me last year as well. I was looking to hire a business coach and I actually was interviewing quite a few folks until I found the right person. I included my husband in on that interview process until I found someone that was really um, felt good and it felt good for me. But my intuition kept telling me I needed someone to help me. And it took a while to find that person and to make sure it made sense logically, but also faithfully as well. And we eventually found someone that we really, truly love. And she really helped me transform my business. 
Okay. So those are just a couple examples of me following my intuition. That's something that you're always going to be faced and always trying to clear your mind and lose those fears to do that. Um, for today, I want you to take action on your intuition, pray, journal your fears. Okay. Ask yourself, what is that worst case scenario? If you do whatever your intuition is telling you, what's the worst case scenario if you don't do what your intuition is telling you to do? And of course, if you need more help, we can take this to the next level. If you're thinking of, if your intuition is telling you to try out self transform you, you can go to self transform you.com to enroll. Now, if you're looking to really just transform the, from the inside out, curate a health plan developed around habit strategy, then this is the program for you. The course is available now. Why wait till after the holidays, friend? Like, do it now. Um, one of my clients, she's actually a mastermind client, Felice said, I'm back to my daily gratitude, much more mindful of how I'm eating, and I've lost some weight while establishing habits in my life that I'll take with me on my journey. I love that so much. This is not just a program to trans to like a diet to transform you in six weeks. This is a lifestyle switch. This is a lifestyle switch. And I want that for you. Also, if you're also just kind of stuck and want to get on a habit hacking strategy call, we can have an inventory your day, use some proven habit strategies, and um, just help you stop feeling overwhelmed and finding some of those time wasters in your day. So that's something I do a little more personalized. If you're wanting a 30 minute call with me, you can go to that website down there and schedule that as well. So gang, thanks for hanging out today. I hope this was useful and helpful for you today. As always, let's stay connected. You can follow me on Instagram at Emily Nichols Tutu and keep listening to the self transformed podcast on your favorite podcast streaming service. But gang, I hope you get through your fears, clear your mind, and listen to that intuition of yours. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Hey girl, real quick before you go, if you love today's show and know your girlfriends need to hear this message too, then grab a screenshot, post it to your Instagram stories and tag me at Emily Nichols Tutu because the more mamas out there hearing this message, the more empowered we'll all feel to take care of ourselves so we can pour from a full cup. Or the number one way you can thank me for this podcast is to leave a rating and review in iTunes. That way, more mamas will find the show here too. Love you and appreciate you, girlfriends. See you next time.